Hello, second graders. Welcome to day two of cycle three of opinion writing. Today, you're going to need your blue writing folder and a pencil. Go ahead and turn to page 23. Today, we are going to focus on day two, topic sentence. Let's go ahead and check that off because we're about to work on it. Today's objective is I can write a strong topic sentence for an opinion paragraph. Yesterday, we started off on page 24, brainstorming about who we were going to write about, and then we created a very basic topic sentence just to get it started. In my case, I wrote that we should learn about Ruby Bridges. Well, that's all well and good, but I really think we can make that sound a lot better. So one of the things we want to do is find our reasons. And usually our reasons are about why are we writing this and who are we writing this for? Well, we can answer the who part pretty easily because the overall project topic is who do you think second graders should learn about? Well, it's right there in the title. Our audience is second graders. So whatever our strong topic sentence is going to be, we are going to keep them in mind as who our audience is going to be. But now we need to figure out the why. Well, Hopefully, when you thought about the person that you decided to write about, you thought about the reasons why. Why were they important or why were they special to you? In my case, I chose Ruby Bridges. And I know a few things about her. And one of the things I most certainly know about her was she was very brave. I'll go more into her history a little bit later, but let's just say she had to deal with quite insurmountable odds when she was a very young child. What does that actually mean? That means she had to go through some very difficult stuff to achieve the goal that she achieved. And what was that goal? Well, I'll go into that a little bit more later, but one of her other reasons why I think she's important is that she was part of changing history. As a young girl, she was part of the civil rights movement and helped change the course of race relations in our nation. That's a lot for a young girl, but she was very much at the center of that. So I found my whys. She was brave and she was part of changing history. To me, that says that she was an important person. So maybe I might want to use that word important in my title. Why don't we go ahead and move to page 25. The very top where it says topic sentence. That's where I'm going to write a much stronger topic sentence. Because we're writing about a person, we want to make them the focus. So a good idea might be to start off with the name of our subject. In this case, Ruby Bridges. But what about her? Well, I think Ruby Bridges is an important, there goes that word again, child. I want to focus on the fact that she was a young person who had an effect on this world. There are plenty of stories about adults, but when you can find a story where somebody young had quite an effect, we really want to celebrate that. So Ruby Bridges is an important child that 
second graders should learn about. That sounds a lot better. We focused on our person, our topic. We've thrown in a word that really catches your eye, important. And we focused on who our audience is, second graders. So go ahead and think about your reasons and think about your audience, your friends in this case, really, who should learn about the person that you want them to learn about. Well, we focus on that and really, really make that topic sentence pop. And I'll see you in the next session.